Good morning and welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today's story is a story very, 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 very old Indian story from the Chataka Tales. The story is called The Brave Horse and it goes like this. There once was a king who had a very brave horse of a particular breed. The king kept it elaborately adorned. It was fed three years old rice seasoned in nine juices. Its stable was daubed with four kinds of incensed clay. It was surrounded by a screen of red blanket with a canopy of gold wires overhead. Garlands of fragrant flowers hung from the canopy. A perfumed oil lamp always burned in the stable. The horse was very faithful to the king. It was renowned through the neighboring states. There was not a king who would not wish to possess the auspicious horse. Once the kings of the seven neighboring states lay siege to the town of the king with the horse. They send him a message saying, either you hand over your auspicious horse to us or prepare for war. The king asked his ministers and asked them, Cyrus, what should I do now? The minister said, your majesty, first you should dispatch the chief horseman to fight alone. We will then decide what we should do next. The king followed his minister's advice and called his chief horseman. He said, Sir, will you be able to fight these kings all alone? The chief horseman replied, Your majesty, if I could have your brave horse Sendava, I will fight all the kings in Jambudipa, let alone these seven kings. The king was reluctant to send his horse on such a dangerous mission, but as it was an emergency, he decided to concede to the demand. And he said, Dear, you may have any horse you like, including Sendava, but protect this land. The chief horseman saluted the king and Sendava was brought to him. The horseman armed himself saddled a horse and mounted it. The horse was happy that it would have an opportunity to return the favors of his master. When the horseman pulled the reins and spurred it on, it bolted out of the city and hit the rival cam like lightning. The seven kings had arranged their troops in seven formations around the city. Each formation was commanded by a king. It was not easy for the horsemen to break into the seven formations and defeat the kings. But Sendava displayed exemplary courage. It broke into the first formation in a jiffy and moved ahead. The horsemen seized the first king. Then he overpowered the second and the third king and so on. Thus he defeated and captured five kings. But when he sped ahead to break into the sixth formation, the horse was wounded. It writhed in pain, but its courage was not diminished. The horseman was filled with despair to see the horse in a disabled condition. He lay it at the city gates, unsaddled it and mounted another horse. When Sendava gathered its senses and looked at the horseman, it thought, the horseman is saddling another horse now. This horse will not be able to break into the seventh formation and the seventh king will not be vanquished. My labors will be lost. This valiant horseman will also lose his life. Our master will be overpowered by others. No other horse but me can break into the seventh formation. The seventh king must be captured, otherwise we will lose the battle. 
the thought disturbed the horse and it tried to gather its strength. It forgot its pain and neighed to its rider. And it said, though wounded and lying on one side, I am still superior to any other horse. Therefore, O oh horseman, you should saddle me. The horseman heard the horse's plea and made it stand on its feet. He nursed its wounds, saddled it and mounted it. The horse bolted ahead and rushed through the seventh formation in no time. The horseman captured the seventh king and handed over the seventh king to the ministers. When the king came out to see his horse, it said, Your Majesty, do not kill these seven kings. Seek their pledge and release them. Let the credit for victory go to the valiant horseman, not me. As the horse spoke these words, it became unconscious and finally died on its master's feet. Now, the moral of this story is well captured in the last phrase. One is of compassion. The horse said, don't kill these kings, just seek their pledge. And the other is on selflessness, because the horse said, let the credit for victory go to the valiant horseman, not me. Wow, such a great example. Thank you. <laughs>